Hey, hello there guys and gals, the Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Edge of Reality. This was developed by Moon Eclipse, published by Sometimes You and is going to be available for £4.19 slash $4.99 but it is actually currently on sale plus you can do the whole triple stack, one on the Series X, one on the Xbox One and the Windows version as well. So get yourself a nice 3K. So this is basically a visual novel, as it were. And basically we play as a guy called Dan. He meets this uh, weirdly mysterious lady and it just gets all nuts. And as you would expect from a visual novel, the story is actually very, very decent. But of course, if we're just going in it for the achievements, you can get this done. If you're very quick, you can get this done in as little as sort of seven to nine minutes. But what I've done is the, the video is about 15 minutes long here, but obviously that's because I'm uh, just going to take my time, uh, tell you what answers are the correct ones so you're not having to pause the video every two seconds. Because we all know that is a pain in the ears. So achievements, you'll just grab them all as you go along with the video, which again should take between seven, nine, ten, fifteen minutes. So. With that being said then, let's do it! And first up we're going to go to the settings and we're going to uh, skip text to go to all text, put text speed all the way to the right, auto forward time all the way to the right, and just in case I get my ass uh, copyrighted, I'm just going to pop the music volume all the way down. So once that's done, we can go back and then we can start a new game. Seven playthroughs are needed, uh, but of course we're going to smash it all out. So what you're going to do when the game starts, press down and then right on the D-pad and then press the A button. That is what will actually get the text going. See, watch now. There we go. The first uh, option we're going to choose is ask what this thing is. And he looks very uh, seductive. Hey, buddy, what is this thing? <laughs> Well, that's my half inch of wood. Uh, reject the offer. Yeah. So reject his half inch wood offer. Tell the truth is the next option. So tell the truth. And finally, reject to help. And that is going to be the first playthrough done. Lovely stuff. Nice and cheesy easy. Right. New game again. Let's crack on with it. So... Uh, playthrough 2, we are going to press new game. Remember, down and then right on the D-pad and then the A button to get the uh, text going. That's my, obviously, version of fast, obviously. Uh, so, first up then, we are going, this time we're going to choose ask nothing. So, ask nothing, option number 2. And we're going to sell brooch this time. Sell the brooch. Brooch or brooch? Yeah, whatever it is. Tell a lie. So make sure second option, tell a lie. And we are then going to reject. So make sure to reject. And that's playthrough two, all fin washed. Job done. Right, on to playthrough three. Let's go. Let's go, comrades. Playthrough three will not do itself, you know. Okay, so again... Down and right on the D-pad, you probably know by now. And again, the first option that we're going to choose is ask what this thing is. Get the measuring stick, <laughs> half an inch of wood. Uh, so ask what this thing is. And then we're going to reject the offer. So reject the offer. And next up, we're going to tell the truth. So top option, tell the truth. And this time we are going to agree to help. But she's going to be all like, ah, thanks. How can we, like, oh, you got such pretty eyes. How can I say no? Right, so what we need to do then, there's a whole bunch of markings on this map. We need to go to the police station, which is number one. So where the red circle is around the number one, press the A button and then ask something. So ask something. And next we're going to go to number five on the map, which is going to be the museum at the top there. It's going to be the museum, so make sure to click number five. And we're going to help her go in. Ah! So help her go in. And now you just have to read all three scrolls. So uh, effectively, the first one on the left there is lit up. So just press the A button a couple of times until it does this. Then go on to the middle one, press the A button a couple of times. 
and then go to the third one on the right, press the A button a couple of times and it should automatically nip you off, mate. And then you need to press down and right on the D-pad again to get the text going blah, 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 blah. Right, so next up, we're going to choose number two on the map. Should automatically be there for Rose's Hotel. So let's get to Rose and then choose Ask Something. And then pretend to be an investigator. So second option, pretend to be an investigator. And then we are going to continue pretending again, which would be the top option. So continue pretending. That's all I do in my life. I pretend that I'm so beautiful. And I'm not. Uh, choose number three. Should automatically be done there or for the railway station. So number three. Ask something. So again, top option. Ask something. Then we're going to go to number four, which is going to be the forest. So number four, which should again automatically be circled. So, numero for uno. Now choose be the first to go. So, top option, be the first to go. And then finally, why do you need the brooch? Oh, look, it's half an inch wood guy. So, third option, why do you need the brooch? The brooch. And that's going to be the end of playthrough three. And then, ta da! New game will be appearing. And I'll have to play through four out of seven. See, getting through it. But like I said, you know, I'm I'm here to help. So rather than you going, ah, oh, pause. What did he say? Ah, oh, pause the game. What did he say? I'm just, I'm taking my time because it's just easier that way. So play through four. Again, we're going to ask him what this thing is. And he's going to tell you the same answer every time. Oh, oh boy, you can't afford this wood. <laughs> That's what he looks like. A crappier version of Benedict Cumberbatch. This time we're going to sell the brooch anyway. So sell the brooch. And then we are going to tell the truth again. Tell the truth to our little beloved. Who I assume matches us up in the end. And then agree to help anyway. So top option, agree to help. Next we're going to choose street to number four. Which is going to be the forest on the map. So remember in the sort of top right corner there. Number four into the forest. And then once we pick that, we're going to uh, choose the option to leave the shelter. So top option, leave the shelter. And then for this one, we're going to go, who are you going to call? Toastbusters. So who you, who are you going to call? You're going to call Benedict Cumberbatch? Tell him that you, he's stolen your identity? Ah, I'd like to see you try, silly bitch. Right, on to playthrough five. It's all fun on the button, isn't it? I've done a good little visual novel for a while. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? Anyway, uh, again, when we begin, it's going to be ask what this thing is. <laughs> so top option again, ask what this thing is. And then we're going to sell the brooch again. So sell it. Don't smell it. And then we're going to tell the truth. So tell her the truth and then agree to help again. So once we've agreed to help her again, when we get to the map, we are going to go back to the forest, which is going to be number four. So choose number four, which would be the forest. And then this time we're just going to choose two different options. The first one being stand still. So second option, stand still. And after we've done this, uh, the... Uh, one that we need to pick is going to be who is one-eyed Ross. So top option, who is one-eyed Ross? Well, he's the guy who got his eye blown out by a pirate patch that one time. Yeah. Anyway, that is the end. So we know who one-eyed Ross is, and that's playthrough five done. So two more to go. Uh, they're kind of the longest ones. Eh, I shouldn't take still shouldn't take too long. But whip it out, boys. Let's do it again. Right, playthrough. Zeus, I'm French now. Again, we're going to ask him what this thing is. Stupid Benedict Cumberbatch from Wish. Yeah. So ask what this thing is, and then we're going to reject the offer this time. So reject it. Next, we're going to tell the truth. So tell it, don't smell it. And agree to help. And after this one, we will go back to the map where we're going to go to 
number one, which is going to be the police station, should automatically be marked for you there, so let's nip there. Straight to police station, mate. I got a crime. Ask something is the next option. So top option there, ask something. And then we're going to go to number five, the museum. And again, uh, so there you go at the top middle there, number five, the museum. And again, for the next option, we are going to help her go in. Ah! So help her go in. And again, you're going to have to read all three scrolls. Doesn't matter in which order, just pick them all and go nuts. Lukasz Fabianski. That, that's the wrong one. Uh, there we go, right? Okay, we got it now. So, after this, we are going to go to number two on the map, which is, if my uh, deductional powers will tell me, it's Rose's Hotel. Of course, I remembered that. So, number two should again all automatically be circled. We're going to ask something. And then we're going to pretend to be an investigator. It's all good pretending that you're harder than me. And continue pretending. So continue to pretending. And when we get back to the map, we're going to go to number three, which should automatically be Circle, the railway station. And we're going to ask something again. And then when we get back onto the map, should be on uh, number four, which is the forest. So we'll go there. And then we're going to choose the option to be the first to go. So be the first to go. And then finally, what are you up to? That's the option. So it's a uh, bottom option. What are you up to right there, you handsome, weird son of a monkey? And that's going to be the end of playthrough six. So now we just have one more playthrough to go, and that'll be all of the achievements done. And you know what's coming? Yes, we're going to ask him what this thing is again. I'm sure seven times he... Still can't be that impressed, huh? Well, if you got a dangly boy, a dangly half an inch, you are well impressed. I'm impressed, anyway. So ask what this thing is again. And then this time we're going to sell the brooch. The brooch. The breach. And then we're going to tell the truth. So tell the truth. And again, we're going to agree to help. So let's agree to help. Let's agree to disagree to help. First up on the map, we are going to number one. Again, should automatically be circled, which is the police station. And once we get there, we're going to ask something. So once you've asked something, we're going to go back to the map. This time we're going to number two. So straight to Rose's hotel this time. Oh, yeah. And we're going to ask something. And this time we're going to ask straight out. So ask straight out. By the way, the best thing about a hotel is always the breakfast the next day. Yes. Uh, number three this time. So we go to the railway station again. Should already be circled. And we're going to ask something. So ask something. And then after this, we're going to go to number five on the map this time, which is the museum. So head to number five. And then we're going to help her go in. Help her go in. And then again, you need to read all the three scrolls once more. And then just a couple of options left, and that is Game Completos. So read all the three scrolls. And then it's going to go back to the map where we are going to go to number four, which is going to be the forest. Come on, get out of it. There we go. Uh, so yes, so next up, number four, the forest. Okay, maybe I was going a little bit too slow. Anyway, uh, ladies first is going to be the next option. So, uh, bottom option, ladies first. And finally, we are going to ask, who is One-Eyed Ross again? Oh, he's that guy who got a cum shot in his eye and uh, he's blind forever now. <laughs> anyway, with that one done, that should now be your full 1,000 out of 1,000. So, if you want to have a little double check there... Um, Let's do it. There we go. 17 out of 17. So thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the game and that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe with the sh uh, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. 
Big shout out to all my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. Uh, thank you so much again, and I'll see you in the next one. Big Lerb!